a word was said. Apologies for that. Now, the Court of Appeal judge, William Oko, has asked governors and other devolution stakeholders to jealously guard public funds, promising the judiciary's commitment in fast-tracking corruption cases currently before court. We spoke to Morim Mwangi in Kirinyaga on the sidelines of the ongoing devolution conference earlier today. When these politicians talk, and you know they have an influence on the perception of Kenyans, not only about the judiciary, but also about the cases that are before you and your colleagues, what, what do you make of it? Uh, politicians will always talk. I mean, but uh, the way we do our work is very different. We, we, we are deaf. We never hear them. We are blind. We never see them. We work with what is presented before the court. Yes. Now, no, besides the fact that not very many convictions are coming from court, as the judiciary you have been criticized for taking too long to dispose some of these matters and given the urgency that has come with a renewed vigor in the fight against corruption, don't you think such an accusation is perhaps justified? I'll agree. Uh, we take long to deliver, but there are underlying problems, challenges that we face as courts. We don't have the numbers, the ratio of judges, the ratio of magistrates to, in, to Kenyans is below international standards. Uh, and therefore, this is expected to happen, that we, we are slow. The other thing is that we cannot be expected to convict when there's no evidence. But you also don't know that the cases that have come before court, how many have ended up with convictions and how many have ended up with acquittals. It is nearly 50-50. But this is not a competition. It's not a competition that we must get uh, people in jail. We'll get people in jail when there is evidence.